All right, hey guys. Um, I don't normally make videos like this, but this this issue bothered me so much, so unbelievably much. Like, just it was really fucking annoying that um I thought I'd leave a I'd make a video about this because uh there aren't any tutorials as to how to do this. I figured it out, and whenever someone figures it out, they just say, "Okay, I figured it out," and they they like walk away, and it's fine. But they don't explain what they did. So, because of that, for that same reason, I will post this video. I will hopefully help you solve this issue um, because I couldn't get it figured out for a while. Um, okay, so pretty much, if you have an animation and you play it, it should do. It should play, right? Um, you notice there's something weird about my arrow special, this red thing. That's not my problem. That's my solution. The, this this thing finally worked. I, I was literally trying. Uh, I'll just explain it. Okay, so my animations, it was literally a black screen. Like, it was a purely black screen, um, you know, and I can't show you now because now it's working, um, but pretty much this was like a test. I was I literally just called it poop because, you know, it's a piece of shit. Um, and I, at first, was not getting any results from any of the animations I was posting. I was even literally using files from the textures full like pngs that came with rpg maker hopefully hoping that that would fix the issue which is why i called this one poop because it has a light png from uh that comes with rpg maker um this was my animation that i made um which was my first one that i'm testing out um and it it just wasn't working and i tried different i tried to rearrange the files in multiple different ways um it wasn't working um but now suddenly all these like files that i was trying to get to work or working, so my files are being recognized and, and such. So you're probably wondering how I got it to do that. Um, okay, well, I'll, I'll just show you literally everything I did, um, and hopefully that solves your issue. Um, so, what you want to do, pretty much... Um, Alright, so you go to your files. Actually, you know what, I gotta... Let me find this, my game really quick, because you actually need to... Go to your game. So apparently you have to rearrange arrange them a certain way, um, which I suppose I did that correctly because I'm not having issues with that. So uh, you go to effects. So you go into your game file, right? So mine's this folder. This is my game folder. Uh, I go to effects. Then I go to, uh, then there's a texture folder, which is the default texture folder they give you with, with RPG Maker MZ. Um, uh, you just, you have to export your files or just drop them in this folder. Um, apparently you can have a second folder right here. Um, the thing though, the key though, that, that some people have an issue with is when you go to, uh, effect seeker or F FX year, um, you want to make sure that when you use it, okay, so let's, uh, okay, I guess I'll have to open up. A, a file in the game. Uh, so let's say absorb, right? This was this was originally the uh, actual absorb ability that comes with RPG Maker. I was testing it out to see if it worked, um, and of course it still didn't. Even though I was using like a ability from the game, it, it wasn't working. So I realized that the issue had something to do with with this uh, program and not so much with RPG Maker. So, anyways, once you once you load a an image into your node you want to hit load and make sure that you click one of these folders within the effects uh, uh, folder so you know texture so these are the pngs that i'm using so i just click on the png open it and it'll be right there and then i save and then you save the file um so one of the issues you might have is uh so i saved it just now so we'll see if it works um you don't want to save it as uh What's it called? You don't want to export it. Don't export the files. Um, the export file formats don't work, so ignore that. Just save as, and it should save as a as this type of file, an E F K E F C. So, for example, poop is right here. Um, you can name it whatever you want, obviously. Um, but yeah, make sure it's this file type. Don't export it. Uh, if you export it, it's not going to work. Um, so that's one of the issues you might encounter. Just don't export it. Um, so I loaded it in my PNG that I wanted. It's working fine in the uh, in FX here. 
So let's try it out. I think it's uh, this one. Oh no, it was absorbed, yeah. So here it is again. And it's working fine, again. Uh, oh my goodness, that's a lot. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I hate the fucking sounds in this thing. Um, anyways, yeah, so it works. Uh, you're fine. Um, now, you're probably, you've probably done this, and you're probably wondering, like, okay, I've done this a billion times, nothing's working. Um, there's a second part to this that I didn't realize until recently, um, which is about as far as I got. That's normally what people just said, and that, that got it working for them. Um, there's a plugin that comes with uh, RPG Maker MZ, and depending on which plugin, which uh, version of effects here you bought, you, like, I guess download, you need to get the plugin for that. So I have 1.7e, yeah, 1.70e. Um, so it comes with a plugin. The plugin is this thing, FX here for RPG Maker MZ, and it pretty much just like solves a lot of issues. It supports 1.7. You need to turn it on, obviously. You need to just put it here. Um, on top of that, that's not the only thing you need to do. You can't just put in the plugin and make it work. Um, there's a second function to this that is missing um you go into your okay so let's say you go into your games folder right you hit uh, js and you go to libs uh you need to swap out these two files with the one that are the one that's given to you so as an example um let's see here okay so I have my, the, what do you call it? The compressed folder they sent me. So obviously you're gonna find your folder, your compressed folder. So so you'll, when you get it, it'll, it'll just look like this. Click on this, you, it's gonna show you the plugins. So here's the plugin and then the libs. So you wanna copy paste these two parts, these two files into your libs folder, into your games libs folder and delete the, the ones that were already in here. So there's gonna be an effects here uh, file folder. In, like it's gonna be some files, effects here files already in RPG Maker for your RPG Maker uh, copy. Um, delete those and then replace them with these two. And that'll make it so that the plugin works and you can see your, your animations. Uh, otherwise you're gonna have issues. So once again, um, it depends on how well, what version of effects here you're using and also making sure that you're replacing those missing um parts those plugin files otherwise uh it just it just your animations won't work so all the old effects here animations will probably work because you're using the old uh files or the old uh i don't know what you would call it like pretty much just replace that stuff it'll it'll work um, and that's it. That solved my issue. Literally just, I downloaded the plugin and I saw those files in there and I thought that would be fine. I, for some reason, assumed that, um, it auto populated those two files. So I, I didn't bother changing them. And then I looked at the dates that they were made and I realized those ones were a lot older than the plugin that I had downloaded. And I noted, and I went back into my compressed holder and I noticed that the lib files were, um, way newer than the ones I had in my actual RPG Maker uh, folder. So I realized that I actually need to swap those out. Um, and I don't see anybody on the forums talk about this. They kind of just say like download the plugin and that solves your issue. Um, I hate when people say shit like that because it doesn't really uh, explain it very well. Uh, maybe I'm just an idiot, I don't know. Uh, it took me like a night. I don't know, I was up for like two, three hours. Uh, later at night and then I woke up this morning an hour I figured it out so that's pretty much it I thought I'd make this video as quickly as possible just because I struggle with this so much I don't even make tutorials for this sort of thing I just it really bothered me so much too much a lot and I thought I'd post a video on it just because I think people should know uh there's a solution at least you know out there for a lot of people I hope Anyways, that's it. Um, thank you guys for watching, and uh, maybe I'll post some more stuff because I'm kind of stupid, and I don't know. Maybe other people are just stupid. We'll find out. See ya.